Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today I wanted to do another showdown uh, cartridge comparison. So a Magnum showdown cartridge comparison. And so in this video, I'm going to be comparing uh, some popular 7mm uh, Magnum cartridges. And I uh, look forward to uh, talking about them. And then I will pick one I believe is... Uh, the best 7mm Magnum. Uh, if you guys like this kind of content, uh, please like and subscribe. I appreciate that. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, introduce the cartridges. The cartridges are the 7mm Rem Mag, the 7mm Winchester Short Mag, the 7mm STW, the 7mm Weatherby, the 28 Nosler, and finally the 7mm Rum. Let's go ahead and start with the most popular 7mm Magnum on the market, which is, of course, the 7mm Remington Magnum. The rifle was introduced in 1962. Uh, the parent case is the 338 Winchester Mag, which is based off the 300 H&H Mag. I'm going to compare all of these cartridges with the 175 grain bullet. And hand-loaded, the 7mm Rem Mag can get up to 2,900 feet per second and a little bit more with a 26 inch barrel so let's go ahead and talk about the recoil uh 22 pounds of recoil about the same as a 30-06 so roughly the same maybe a little more all right this is where i'm going to get into a bit of my personal opinion so take it with a grain of salt uh the efficiency of the cartridge so i give this a six out of ten it's not bad but not great it is a magnum so right now ammo availability uh, manufacturers are making it uh, but uh, it can be hard to come by it goes quickly when it does go on the shelf ammo cost this one is a bit crazy right now because if we looked at this a year ago prices would be a lot lower uh, this is just the average cost from what I see the lowest and to the highest. Your average is going to be around $67.50. You can get 7mm Remington Magnum ammo for around 40 bucks as well. But this is just the average. And then the rifle cost. You can get the rifle for as low as $350. Because this rifle and this cartridge is extremely popular. Next is the 7mm Winchester Short Mag. This cartridge was introduced in 2001. The parent case is the 300 Winchester Short Magnum, which is a good cartridge. Uh, the velocity for that 175 grain bullet is 2,900 feet per second. So that's with a 24 inch barrel. So this cartridge is a little bit more efficient. Recoil, of course, is going to be about the same. And just as I said, the efficiency is a little bit better. That's what makes these. Uh, short magnums, nice. Is there efficient? All right. Ammo availability. Again, this is in my area. Uh, it's, it's not great, but not bad either. Uh, ammo cost. It's going to be around $60. And then the rifle cost. Uh, it's it's kind of harder to find a rifle in this caliber. And so uh, there's not a lot of them. So around 850 bucks. Next is the seven millimeter shooting times Western or the STW. The year it was introduced was 1996. The parent case is the 300 H and H Magnum. It is uh, a pretty long case it goes out to 2.85 inches, really long case. Uh, the speed for this uh, is roughly around 3,000 feet per second with a 175 grain bullet with a 26 inch barrel. As I said, uh, there's a lot of powder in this case, and so you're going to feel a bit of recoil with 28 pounds of recoil. Efficiency. This is probably the least efficient cartridge of the bunch. Uh, you're burning a lot of powder for good speed, but it should be a little better. Uh, in my area, I'm not really seeing ammo for this. And then the ammo cost, it's expensive, uh, but around $95. And the rifle cost, if you can find it, again, uh, in probably a Remington 700 action, uh, is around 
$600 or more. The 7mm Weatherby Magnum. It is the oldest Magnum of the bunch. It is introduced in 1944 by Roy Weatherby. Uh, its parent case is the 300 H&H &H Magnum. Uh, with 175 grain bullets, uh, factory ammo from Weatherby uh, claims 3,070 feet per second, so pretty good. That's, of course, with a 26-inch barrel. Your recoil is around 25 pounds of recoil. Efficiency, uh, it's, it's not bad, so I'd give it a 7 out of 10. Ammo availability, uh, it's kind of hard to find right now. Uh, ammo cost, Weatherby ammo is always expensive. And so you're going to pay 80 bucks most of the time. And then one downside to the 7mm Weatherby is right now it's only offered in the Mark V. The 28 Nosler is the newest cartridge out of all of them, uh, introduced in 2015. The parent case is the 300 Remington Ultra Magnum, so it's just a bit shorter, uh, but basically the same case, just a little shorter. Uh, speed. It's pretty quick. Uh, you can get a 175 grain bullet up to 3,200 feet per second when you reload it. Uh, barrel length is 26 inches. The felt recoil, with that much speed, you're going to feel a bit more punishment on your shoulder. Efficiency. It is a more efficient round, one of the more efficient ones. Ammo availability. In my area, it, I've always seen it. Uh, ammo costs. It is expensive. Uh, so most of the ammo you will see is Nosler ammo, which is really nice ammo, but you're going to pay for it. Then the rifle cost. Uh, you might find this different, but from what I've been able to find, it's roughly around $1,000 to get a 28 Nosler. Lastly, we're going to look at the fastest 7mm Magnum. That is, of course, the 7mm Remington Ultra Magnum. This was introduced in 2001. Uh, the parent case is the 300 Remington Ultra Magnum. It is basically a copied version of it, just neck down to 7 millimeter. And the speed you're going to get uh, is 3,300 feet per second. But from what people say is you're only going to get that with a 28-inch barrel. So, uh, the felt recoil, well, it's it'll punish you. 30 uh, pounds of recoil. Efficiency. Uh, this is a really big case, and so it's not the most efficient. Ammo availability, uh, it's you can find it sometimes in my area. Uh, ammo cost, it's expensive. Uh, like I said, it's a huge case, so it's got a lot of powder, so around $97.50. Uh, if you can find it in a Remington 700 action, uh, so it's it's around $600. All right, so it's time to pick what I believe is the winner or the one that I would prefer. Uh, I said best in the beginning, but uh, that's so subjective to the person. So the best one I would pick because I am a reloader and I don't buy factory ammo, I think it would be really cool to get a 28 Nosler. Uh, now, the barrel life wouldn't be very good, uh, but I would use it as a hunting cartridge. So if I were to get a 7mm, I would probably get a 28 Nosler. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, have a great weekend.